All right guys, so welcome back once again. If you're someone new to my channel, my name is Niklesh and I live here in Berlin. This video is dedicated to all those students who want to study masters in physics here in Germany and uh, mostly the education for masters in physics or areas related to physics are free. What I mean by that is you just have to make semester contributions. This video is also for students who are currently studying physics and they're about to graduate as in from their bachelors. Or you could be someone who has graduated few years back, you're working full time and you want to pursue your career further in the area of physics. This video is for you. Primarily, the focus of this video is I will be sharing list of universities with you. Also, I will show you what kind of job opportunities are available or what do students here in Germany do after they complete their masters in physics. Do they really go and work in the industry or they prefer to do PhD. Alongside, I will also share you the list of universities for masters in physics right here. Make sure that you watch today's video till the end. Let's start. So before we begin, there is a Google form in the description of this video. You can jump onto that and fill in your details. We'll stay in touch. We'll see what best we can do for you when it comes to helping you with the admission or the visa support, whether it's this year, 2022 or for next year, 2023. If some of you are interested to have this presentation, I'll uh, give it in the description or I'll send it uh, over to you via email once you have filled out a Google form. If you're interested to talk to me personally and talk about your profile, people also, you know, very often book personal appointment with me. So you can click it right here and it will take you directly onto that uh, website where you can book the appointment. I've been doing this long enough now for a little over four or five years now. And I've seen thousands of students and, and I'm happy to tell you that I've been part of their success story. And exactly by doing that, mentorship was actually born. Uh, I learned a lot on the ground here that what are the do's and don'ts. And uh, that's how I've designed my 12 months of program. You can easily become part of it by enrolling it by clicking on the link on the screen or in the description, I'm going to drop a link there. This mentorship basically starts helping you while you're in India and it only stops here in Germany when you're on a part-time job. So that's how the whole chapters are designed. Some of the highlights are already mentioned on the screen right here, but then this is just like the tip of the iceberg. It goes really, really deep. So to begin with, if you're someone who is currently studying, let's say in X university, okay, and you want to know whether your university or the course, what you're studying in that university in your bachelor's, is that recognized or not as per German database? which is called as Anabin. Basically, in a nutshell, Anabin's job is to, is to see the equivalence of your bachelor's, what you studied, bachelor's in mechanical in India, let's say, for example, to bachelor's here in Germany in mechanical. And what you have to see is your university has something called as H+. So I'll quickly show you how you can check your university, whether it's approved by Anabin or not. Just go on Google and type Anabin dot de when you're here go to the first link right here and go to institution okay go to search let me just switch this for you in english oh my selection i think it's there from previously so it's selected india in your case you have to open country selection and just press i and it will show india or a list of countries with i Confirm. Place where in India? Let's say I want to check Mumbai. I'm going to go and type M and then say uh, Mumbai Maharashtra. So this is where you will see Amity University, Mumbai. Uh, it's a private university and it's H+. That means it's approved. And likewise, you have to go and look for your university. You can change the city name to something else, wherever you come from, you know. And then uh, let's say Mangalore, you can see it right here. Okay. So for example, this university, it's H minus. Now that this university is H minus, this whoever is studying in this university will have to go through an extra process of validating their degree and a university from Anabin. And there's a altogether different process, which I don't want to get into right now. But yes, make sure that your university is H plus. List of documents, what you need to apply in a university which is uh, right here, nine things uh, primarily. Bachelor's degree, transcripts for all eight semesters, consolidated mark sheets, or if you're someone who is currently in eighth semester, then provisional degree. 
you need sop let's say you are applying for 10 different universities then you need 10 different sops uh, designed you need three at least three uh, letter of recommendations ielts 6.5 overall and you need to give academic ielts not general ielts there are two types that's why work experience letter if you have any internship or eca stands for extracurricular activity uh if you have published some academic papers uh cv in europass format a uh, course module book course module book is uh, basically your entire mechanical engineering uh, you know in a pdf format what was the course content what you were taught which you can get it from your administration so these are the nine documents which are the basis of application so there are two intakes in germany one is in summer one is in winter summer starts in april the deadline is 15th of jan normally the application actually begins in by november december onwards for winter it starts in october the deadline is may uh, 15th sometimes the deadlines can also go till june 15th so in germany uh, the application is done via three ways via university portal via my assist or combination of first and second now how do you know that which way a university is willing to take your application well you will have to check on the course website now if you've seen me talking about german gpa so this is what the breakdown of german gpa is so one is the highest you can score here in this country four is bare minimum like just pass anything beyond four is fail now many of you would already have your grades into either cgpa or sgpa or percentage how can you calculate that from that grading system to german gpa i have i have this link right here uh which i'm going to click now and it will take us directly onto the website of technical university munich we're going to convert the grades let's say the highest what uh, high cgpa one can get is 10 uh the bare minimum required to pass the degree is 5 and you got let's say 7.2 that's your german gpa right here you know 2.6 is something what you have got if yours would be let's say 8 then it's 2.2 so this is how you calculate grades so moving forward from here on all right now that you have seen that there are so many colleges how do you keep track of them there is a there has to be a structure to it So in Nikshala in our company we follow certain way of doing things which has been the most efficient what I've seen over the course of time you're on Google make sure that you go ahead and make this on Google sheet right here now that you're here uh, first of all go ahead and change the name of the file university so this is a kind of structure what I personally uh, would like to have when it comes to you know shortlisting of the university it starts with serial number right here then it goes on to university and uh, under university there is two types one is the university name and the type of university so if it's tu then you write tu right here okay uh and then there is a course uh what course is this so you know in this case it's computational engineering you can see that how many semesters the program is of what is the deadline does it require you to have german or not does it require you to have ielts or not um, what is the prerequisite have they given any bachelor's requirement what they need what gpa what german gpa does it require like for example 2.5 first class with distinction ects requirement if it's 210 or 180 if it requires sop or not if it's yes then just type yes lor then how many lors if you have given test AS or GRE what has been your score here mode of application is it via uni assist or is it via direct portal you know then the the course website as you can see it's right here it's displaying out and if you have any email id of the course coordinator this is the typical format i like to follow here it has proven to be very successful for last so many Years I've used this format with different students. All right, so let's move on from here. I'll quickly show you. There is a link which is embedded here. You just click here, and it will take you directly onto this page. You are on DAD website now. This is like the official website from the Education Ministry. So all these seventy-six courses, what you see, are directly related to physics, or they are physics. 
uh, topic there are a total of what eight pages you can make the excel sheet what i showed you for yourself so when you go into let's say we go into this and go and check so first the tuition fees there is no tuition fees there is only a semester contribution which is 300 euros per semester so 300 euros multiplied by four times is what you pay for this course in terms of requirements you can check here what are the academic requirements how much IELTS do they need so if you want to know more details about this particular course in BTU then on the right hand side there is a course website you can click here it'll take you directly to the university website where the course is so this is how you have to make your own list so moving forward from here on specializations in physics now these topics what you see on the screen they have come from after talking to most of my friends who are studying physics here uh, in different universities across germany one of the biggest topics out of all of this what i've seen is in the optics Recently, I visited uh, Jena University and uh, that's where Zeiss is based, Carl Zeiss, you know how big they are in, in, the, in terms of optics. But anyway, you could be interested in any other area. So these are specializations I've seen students going really, really deep. In fact, from second or third semester onwards of their masters, they go into this topics, uh, classic mechanics, biophysics, thermodynamics optics and uh, atomic molecular physics, quantum mechanics, electromagnetics and uh, electronics, uh, classical mechanics, quantum computing, astrophysics. So these are some of the specializations you can find in any master's program of physics across length and breadth of Germany. One tip for you would be that from second semester onwards, start looking for that specialization. By the time you're in third semester, you're really into that topic. And then in the fourth semester, when it's about writing your thesis, Look for a topic in which you want to either go and do PhD further or industry's demands are there. So have a proper direction from very beginning itself, if possible, but latest by second semester. So moving forward from here on, jobs and salary or PhD. Now, I think this is the third time I'm mentioning because majority of the students I've seen here in Germany, when they study physics, they go and do PhD. They already have a set mind that... I want to study masters now and then I'll go and do PhD and one pro tip I can give you that you know there are courses here in this country who will graduate you from 90 ECTS that will make it very difficult for you to study in for PhD now what I mean by that is look for a course which has a 120 ECTS count uh, of their entire masters so basically I'm talking about doing a four semester masters rather than doing three semesters masters there would be people out there who just want to study masters and then go and work for industry then uh, click here there's a link i've kept click there it will take you directly onto this website so this gehal.de will give you an idea what salary what position which city jobs are available on an average the average salary of the industry is 4000 euros which is a starting range going all the way till 6000 this is just a ballpark estimation i'm giving nothing sure short or certain this is only for a month we are talking uh, if i do it annually so roughly we are talking like 50000 euros annually uh, you will get served of course there is 40 percent tax also here in germany so keeping that in mind just to walk you through some openings if you see application scientist phd students professorship is there uh VEC student is also there wow which is like the student job and then there's a lot of r and r and jobs available so yeah this is the on an average you can expect when it comes to doing a full-time job we are on the last slide if you want to get enrolled for the program you can just click right here uh as i said you can have this pdf for yourself and uh yeah get in touch with us we'll be happy to help you out so yeah if you have made it till here, thank you so much for tuning in. Now that you have the list of colleges and all the required documents, go ahead and apply whether or not you want our help, but make sure that you're tight on your timeline uh, because that's where a lot of people make mistakes. So having said that, thank you so much. And uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.